Hello, hello, hello. I'm in the library. <laughs> I'm in the library. Oh, man. I'm not, let, I'm not gonna throw my face back on her. Um, I hope you can hear me because like I said, I'm in the library. Um, you wouldn't believe the stuff I just went through today. Oh my God. Okay. Today is 11 a 2017. Okay. You know, my neighbor next door called me the N word. So I went to court for that small claims court. Okay, my next door neighbor didn't show up. So that's 40 something dollars right now down the drain. I would have to have another $40 to take in, have the sheriff serve them. So anyway, I'm sitting in court. So the judge calls me and uh, two more people up since the parties, uh, the people that we filed charges on didn't show up. Okay, so while I'm in court, guess who I see? Okay, if you recall, I told you all that somebody stole my car, that a chick named Robin Bellamy set me up. Her and some dude, she claimed his name was Ulysses or something. They took and had me leave the money under the mat and told me that they was going to tow my car home. Instead of towing it home, I never seen my car. This is February, two, this February the 28th, uh, 2016. Okay, so... All of a sudden, she's in court, and she's claiming that she's a member of with the Kentucky uh, Kentucky Alliance, which is supposed to be against racism and uh, political injustice. So, uh, she's I come out of the courtroom, so she's standing there, and she's gonna keep staring at me. So I look back at her, and she said, "Yeah." She told the guy that's supposed to be the treasurer in in her uh, in the Kentucky Alliance. She said, "Yeah." She gonna try to say I stole her car. And uh, I said, you did steal my car. She said, I sure did steal your car. She stated this in front of her treasure and in front of her little group. So I proceeded to walk on. She follows me into the, uh, I'm so pissed right now. She follows me into the office because they wanted me to go there to wait for the paperwork from the case. So I'm sitting there. So she comes in, Robin Bellamy comes in and she starts talking about, yeah, uh, you gonna say that I stole your car now? So she proceeds to like, she's calling the guy. She says she called the guy, you listens on the phone and some other dude on the phone. And she's saying that she's talking to them. And remember the crazy chick that said I stole a car? If you was that desperate for $500, honey, I would have gave you $500. Uh, I'm working at Tyola now. And uh, she's all of this stuff like that. And, uh, 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 Oh man, she's saying all kind of stuff, and uh, uh, you lied on me, and somebody told me ahead of time that you was gonna serve me. The dude Roger, I was telling you that. That's who told him, cause it wasn't nobody that knew about the court thing when I was gonna serve her, but him, and he's the one that gave me her uh, her last name. I couldn't do anything without her last name, so he gave it to me, but then turned around and stabbed me in my back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and he's supposed to be sober. Yeah, mm. remember that. So anyway, she proceeded to keep running her mouth. So I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? I was, she came up, I was like, how can I come up here to say I'm here for another case? Uh, well, you gonna take it off. You gonna say I stole your car, I had the detective. I told the detective I didn't steal your car, that she was lying and she's just trying to get money. And uh, she brought up for false charges and all this. Uh, so she proceeded to get in my face and the people in the office kept on telling her to be quiet Y'all both need to just stop talking to each other. Just don't talk to each other. She continually talk Oh, she's calling me a liar And I set up false charges to try to get money and then I got money for my car And she knew about that. Uh, she didn't get the paperwork because somebody told her about it and all this or that You know the dude Roger told her about I was gonna serve her and all this type of thing 
Yeah. And so, I mean, she's calling me names and everything. And so I'm like, okay, you know, so they kept asking her, you know, to step out. So she going to walk up to me like she want to hit me. So then she's going to turn around and they told her, uh, do you want us to call the sheriff? I said, call the sheriff and tell them, yeah, call the sheriff so she can get up out of my face. So they called the sheriff and she tried to run out the door. So I don't know if they locked her up. I know when I left, I didn't see her. But I want to uh, get this straight. I didn't talk to her. By God's grace and mercy, I didn't. Hmm, I wanted to say so many things. And I thank God, God said, shut up, let her talk, because she's telling on herself. She had gotten to the point before she ran out the door. She had gotten to the point where she said, uh, can y'all take and uh, put this back on the docket? And I said, look at God showing up, showing out. I told the people, they start laughing. She wanted them to put the case back on docket so she could stand up to it. But the reason why she did it is because now I know she's associated with Kentucky Alliance. I saw she said she was. So that's why she wanted to hurry up and get everything on the docket. Then, like I said, she's cussing at me and talking all crazy to me. So then they listening to her. And after a while, she ended up trying to change her story. And saying she didn't want to put it on her. Better yet, I'm going to wait till you pay and serve me. I'm just looking at her. I'm like, the case was already dropped because she didn't show up. But this is a person. This is the type of person that's working with association. She claims she worked with Kentucky Alliance fighting against racism and political injustice. But you stand in there fighting with another black person. She's black. But you fighting with me over some stuff that you set up and got my car stolen and my $60 taken. And then you're going to say that the detective told, you told the detective that I did it to get money and you're a lie. And I'm going to tell y'all why she's a lie. As I stated in my early videos, and you can check it out, and I'll show you paperwork when I get home because I still have it. Because I had to have it to take and uh, stop paying taxes on the car. The car was stolen. Because the car was stolen, the car stayed on the impoundment lot because I couldn't get the car back because when the police got the car some kind of way, the keys was locked in the car and they said they didn't have the Jimmy to open it. Not only that, I didn't have full coverage insurance on the car so I didn't get any money. Let me say that one more time to the public because I'm going to put this on Instagram, I'm going to publicize it on YouTube, I'm going to put it everywhere, on Tubla, I'm going to play this to the to the to the past law all around the world. I did not get any money when I reported my car stolen. I had Geico insurance. I had liability insurance. Anybody knows about liability insurance. If you don't have full coverage, if your car is stolen, you can't get any money. But I had to report the car stolen be to cover my bus so it wouldn't look like that I did something crooked. And if the car hit a person and I, and I didn't report it stolen, I would have been in foul. Am I right about it? Yeah. I went to school one day, legal. I took some classes. Legally, I had to cover my bus, so that's why I reported the car stolen. And let me go back to what Miss Robin Bellamy, who works with Kentucky Alliance, who says she works at uh, <laughs> that she works at uh, uh, Toyota, where she used to work with me at Kentucky Hive, where she set me up and got my car stolen. Let me set this straight. Which I, uh, I'm a file a report with uh, Detective Settlewater. That's his name, Settlewater, Cedarwater. That's the detective. When he, when I filed the, I didn't file the claim. When I reported the car stolen, he picked up the case. He said the words of the car. He said you should take her to court. He said I should take her to court. I took his suggestion. I said okay. I, I didn't have no insurance. He said take her to court. He left the case open, so the case is open right now. So she's running her mouth. That's why she's running her mouth and trying to cover and try to start a fight with me and try to run up in my face to hit me because she knows that she's busted. I'm not worrying about taking a court because you told on yourself. But I'm talking about evil. I'm talking about this is the type of person, people that you watch out for. And what hurts me more than anything is that you black and I'm black. And I'm trying to help black people. And that was my agenda to take and talk to this representative, the councilman today, to get some stuff done. But I'm not going to talk to her today. I'm not going to do anything today because this is why black people don't like helping black people. And I know it's the devil trying to use her to set me off, to prevent me. But I'm going to let him stop me for a minute. Because you're evil, nasty, black heifer to take and try to fight me up in the courthouse in front of white people, in front of people. You're going to do this and see people see black on black. 
arguing with one another. And then people want to, in society, want to sit back and black people that's prominent want to talk about why can't black people get along, put the guns down. You see evil right here. You sat there and you, you started stuff with me. I couldn't act real ignorant with you. But I let you go ahead and do what you do. I let you show out. You showed out. You performed. You showed your black butt. And you evil and you nasty. And you sat there and told a lie. I didn't get no money for my car being stolen. My car sat there. And then you had the audacity to say, I hope you're walking and catching a bus that you want to take and try to. That's why nothing good is going to come to me. Because I lied and said somebody stole my car to get some money. Now, what's going to come to you? Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But you worry about yourself. God got me. You better hope he got you because you're evil. You're evil and you do injustice. And I'm not going to put my hand on you. Look at the computer. don't even like you. I don't even know what it's doing. Something stupid. But anyway, like I said, you know... I'm telling people to put the guns down. Black people get along. Black people take and, 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 and look at your worth. You beautiful. You kings and you queen. And then I turn around and I'm stepping in the court in the hall of justice on 7th Street. The people had to call the sheriff. I told them, call the sheriff for her. I'm still sitting there. They called the sheriff. I ain't seen them. Even when I came out, I didn't see them. You did all that. Started all that ruckus. You let the devil use you. But yeah, he used you good because I'm not saying nothing. That's, that's why I, I don't like helping black people. That's why I'm like, whose life is this? I don't understand it. I want to do good. I try to do good. And it's, it, and it's like Paul said in the Bible, when I try to do good, evil's all around me. The things that I want to do, I don't do. The things I don't want to do, I do. But at the same time, you look at the evil people, and the evil people seem to prosper. Here it is. She going to come down to the court. I'm there for a case about racism. But you claim that you work for the people with racism, and you come against your own black sister. You come against me in front of your co-workers. You claim you're on a board. You're in front of the treasurer. You're in front of the chairperson. And you came against me in the Hall of Justice. They got you recorded, and you're on camera because you stepped inside the small claims office doing this. You can't open your mouth and say, I said anything unjust to you. But you came in there and you did this. You know, and it saddens me. And that's why I said a lot of things that happen to black people, these killings, it's not because somebody just innocent. People set up and you do things and you provoke people and you start stuff with people and then you sit back and act like your shit don't stink. But it does stink. You did evil. Everybody in the small claims office seen and heard everything you said. You actually stood up and said you wanted to put things back on the docket because you felt that you were so innocent. But then you turned around and changed it when the lady told you. She said, we don't even, we don't, did, did you go to court? So if you went to court, then it's over with. So you want us to bring it back up? So then you look real stupid. You're ignorant and you showed your ignorance. What makes it so bad? You show how black and ignorant you are, you know. Like I said, I put it in God's hand. And what makes it so sad too? I just went to church. I passed the well, the pastor Bates just returned, and he was just talking about Paul, how Paul got, felt God, and how, how Paul stayed strong when everything was against him, how he called on God and called on his faith. And then as soon as I left the church early to go down to the court, here it is, the devil in front of me. You sat there and you belittled me. You talked down to me like I was a worm, like I was a snake, like I was a non-human, like I was a piece of shit. That's how you talked to me. Black woman talking to another black woman like I was nothing. And here's the thing. I can't believe that I took it. <laughs> you know, that was God. Thank God. You know, I just sat there in the chair and just kept on waiting. You know, when it was over, said and done, I talked to the lady. They just looked at me and the white lady winked at me because they looking at you. But the whole point is, you made yourself look bad. But at the same time, you talked you talked to me like I was nothing. And then you lied on the detective and tried to say the detective said that I stole my car. The detective knows better. If the detective thought I stole my own car, they would have closed the case. Or they would have investigated me. How you going to investigate me when I didn't get no money, which the paperwork is on file? I didn't get no money. I lost the $60 that you stole from me. 
I lost the car that I could have gotten back, gotten repaired and got back and kept going to work. I lost my job. My son was taking me back to forth to work and you knew it when you was at work, when you ran around behind my back and tried to tell the people to get on your side at Source Hall that's located off of, what was that, Grade Lane, where we work together. But now you claim you work a tie old and you claim you're, on a, you're a chairperson or you something. You're a board member on the Kentucky Alliance and you'll do a black person that way. You'll do me that way. Like I said, I'm going to post this on YouTube. I'm going to post it all over. I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to do everything in my power to let everybody know how you are because you evil. And then people wonder why black people against black people. And you wonder about black crime. Here's a prime example of it. Here's a prime example of it. Why black people don't want to. This is why people get rich and get on their feet and don't want to help the black community. This is why people get on their feet and don't give a damn about people in the projects. They don't give a damn about the West End. They don't give a damn about poor people at all. They get theirs and they feel you should get yours. And if you didn't get yours, then too bad. They get their money and they go on and they forget you. This is why, because of black people like Robin Bellamy and the guy Roger that ran back and Oh. And then people talk about forgive. How many times do you take and let a person spit on you and knock you to the ground? How many times do you forgive? God says seven times seven. What time? What, what about when you pass a seven times seven? What about when a person repays you with evil? When you tell you did was be a fool and trust them. You trust the person that they was going to get your car to your house. My car broke down the Air Course Minor. You drove me from work to go over there and take $60 and put it under the mat. You wanted $63. I only had $60. I put it under the mat and leave the key there and left the door open. You had that man, Ulysses, come and you said with a tow truck and take my car. I called the man and said, where's my car? He said, I took your car somewhere and left it. Like I said, all I can do, I, I thank God for my friend. I thank God because I was trying to calm down and in the process of trying to come down from leaving court, you know, praying about what I should say and what I should do. I prayed about it. I always pray. I prayed about it. You know what I'm saying? I could text some of my friends and stuff, talk to them. They didn't respond, but I text them. And, you know, one responded like, yeah, wow, you know, that's how people are. But... I also thank God I ran into my friend, my friend for 40 years. That's how good God is. That's, a, that's why God is awesome. Because he's awesome don't mean I have to keep kissing butt, people's butt to get along with them. But God put my friend and her husband in front of me, and I sat down and I talked to them. I vented, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm much better now. But, no, I'm not calling the councilwoman. I'm not going to try to help black people. I'm going to sit down because I'm going to try to help myself. I got bags under my eyes. My eyes look like my eyes are black. You gonna try to fight me in court, a black woman? And then you playing like you fighting for black people's rights? You will use the system like that? And then you evil? And then you coming against me? And I'm trying to have an organization to help black people. I'm trying to get money and funding together. You come against me? Which I know is our Satan. But I tell you what, you know, you dirty. God ain't in you. God ain't in you. God ain't in you, you know. And I pray to God, God said, Jenny, she stood and told on herself, he said, use it, you know. And so that's where I am. Everything came out of your mouth. You admitted you stole my car. You admitted you set me up. And then you claimed you called a dude on the phone and was talking to him. And going to lie and say, I stole my car so I could get $500. I didn't quote no $500. The detective is the one that said 500 which is, I guess, the blue book back, you know. I wanted my $60 back. And I wanted you to pay for my car to come out for the lot. That's what I wanted. 
I wanted to pay because I could have got the car with the car locked up since you want to get real. Since the car keys was locked in the car and the police and Pamela officer said that he could not open the car, I would have had to get the car towed off the lot, which since it was reported stolen, I could have gotten it taken off the lot free. But I would have had to get it towed because I took the insurance off the car and I put it on another car that I got, which my son bought me a car. Why you want them? <laughs> Why you front? Which that was way later on. But I never did get no money and I got proof. And the detective sell water is already documented. I ain't even got to say nothing about that. Detective Settle Water of the Louisville Police Department. I already got proof of that. So everything that came out of your mouth is a lie. And you represent that organization and you're a liar, you're a cold blooded liar. I got detective paperwork. I could call a detective right now. Anybody that's listening to my voice, contact Detective Settle Water. You can't miss his name. Everybody know what he's talking about. He, he's the person that take police reports of stolen cars. Get on there and see what that report says. I also heard that it was known a way that people do that to set people up. They go around and they tow people's cars and then they try to make you pay to get it back. It's a scam. That's a scam uh, thing that they do. That's why the detective left it open. So now that you ran your mouth, I hope he opens the case back up. But like I said, if God wants me to bring the case back up, you know, I would have to get you served by detectives. So I went on and said, forget it. But here you show up running your mouth. I don't have no money to keep spending. I got to pay for a detective to serve the woman next door. Because I got to bring an end to that. I could have went to work today and did overtime, but I didn't because I went to court to deal with that situation. She didn't show up, but then the devil showed up. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, I try to do good and try to help somebody, and I get punished and stepped on. Maybe I am crazy, because you got to be crazy to want to help black people that don't want to help themselves, and then somebody that take and belittle you in court in front of other people to the point where they had to escort her out with the sheriff or lock her up. Who does that? Who does that? I'm talking about pure evil. Like I said, I'm going to upload this. I'm at the lab where it'll upload real fast. Like I said, you know, I don't know. I feel like God's fighting against me, you know. My dreams are not taking place. If anything, there's more things against me. Sometimes I think I see daylight and then I would get pushed back down in the hole. But yeah, it hurt the way she talked to me. She talked to me like I didn't even exist. I wouldn't talk to a dog. She talked to me like I was somebody dead that didn't even exist. Just nasty and then walked up on me like you gonna fight me. Man, please. This stuff is it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a racist neighbor next door. This chick is representing racism. I mean, this is a joke. I'm like, whose life is this? Like I said, whose life is this? I feel like I'll, I'm being punked. I got to be getting punked. But I've been getting punked so long, I got bills up the wazoo. I mean, I, I can't win for losing. I can't win. I lost the job because my son was taking me back and forth. I would have had to catch two or three buses to get there. The buses wouldn't have ran on time to get me there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even get this. I lost my job and she claims she working. She gonna sit there telling me she wish I caught a bus. And she's glad I ride a bus. So you don't know nothing about me that you think that I was riding. So whoever was feeding you information told you I was riding a bus at one time. So I hope you're watching the video because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope, I hope you see Robin Bellamy. And then she had nerve to say, when you address me, call me Miss Robin Bellamy. So Miss Robin Bellamy, <laughs> yeah, on Facebook, wherever you are, yeah, I hope you get this. Yeah, God bless your heart and all your parts. No weapon formed against me should prosper. Great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Mm. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For then is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. 
God, you said you'll fight my battles if I sit still. I sit still, Lord. So fight this battle. I do everything that I can to try to help black people. I try to help poor people. I try to help people. I was invited to church last night. The lady named Honeycuff from St. Stephen's invited me to her pastor Cosby last night at Emmanuel Baptist Church. I went to the wrong Emmanuel Baptist Church. I went to the one on 4th Street that was closed up instead of the right one. So I went out before I went home, I went to Bates because I thought Bates was going to have something at 7 o'clock. There wasn't nothing. So I try to do good. And the more I try to go in your direction, the less I succeed. I got so much evil against me. How do you stand when people come against you and hate you and talk evil against you and talk to you like you nothing? And you don't raise your hand. You don't cuss them back out. You sit there and you let them just... <sighs> oh, What your boy said, Donna McClurkin. He said, what do you do? When you done all you can, you just stand. Man, I can't even stand no more. I'm bent over. I'm like, you come against me like that? You come to me like that? You come to me like that and you're supposed to be in an organization? Man, I mean, what is this? Tornadoes, people shooting, people going in the church shooting up 26 people. And the woman gets on TV and the only thing that she can come out, come out of her mouth is, they shot up the church. No, boo-boo. They shot up 26 people and wounded so many others. Why don't you get on TV and start praying and ask God to bring healing, bring healing to your hearts, bring healing to the community. Get with the congregation and pray. That's what you should be doing instead of worrying about how this church was shot up. Think about the people that were shot up, the lives that was lost. Look at the man just did 60 people. Nobody's coming together to pray. You mocking God and laughing at God. You don't care about God. You talking about you getting an organization standing for justice and you'll turn around and you'll treat your sister like she's nothing. You'll argue inside the courthouse where you're being filmed and you're recorded. What kind of evil is this? We can't pray it down. We don't have the power. We don't have the faith. What is this? What is this? When evil is ever present and evil stands up and rears its head and it refuses to back down and it feels that it's justified in its actions. What is this? Man, we better get together and start praying. We better stop talking. We better start praying. But like I said, I'm going to step back. I'm going to step back, you know. Like I said, I got to step back. I hadn't even made no tapes. But like I said, because I, I've been working, I'm trying to get on my feet. But this come, this, you're working for justice, but you, you're talking negative. You're talking evil. You condone evil. You portray, you spoke it in front of the people that's in your organization. You said you stole my car in front of the people in the courthouse. Don't you know they got cameras up there? Don't you know they have recordings? They can record everything you say. They recorded it. Man, I mean, I want to laugh, but then I got to cry. I got to cry because you just evil. I can't believe you did that. You know, you broke my spirit and you broke my heart. How can I, I have telling people to stop fighting, but then you the person. And then people want, that's why black people, that's why people, period. That's why people don't want to go to church. That's why he went in that church, because he don't, he don't see no, he doesn't see God in there. He seen people in there. I don't know what the case is about, but he, he seen people in there. He didn't see God in the house. He didn't respect God's house. He didn't respect a human life. And nor do you. God bless y'all and keep y'all. Bye.